Welcome to West Country Wanderings and welcome to another one of my Cotswold walks. Another circular one today. I'm actually in the county of Worcestershire and kind of halfway between the towns of Pershaw, Evesham and Tewkesbury. Just over there lies Breeden Hill. What I'm intending to do is do a circular walk. I'm actually currently in the village of Kemerton, one of the lesser known Cotswold villages. In fact, part of this village lies in the Cotswold AON, the area of standing natural beauty, and part of it lies outside of it. But we're going to be encircling the whole of the Cotswold bit. We've got some lakes to show you today. We've got another village called Overbury, which we're going to be walking to too. And we're going to be walking to the top, to the summit of Breeden Hill, see what views we can get from there. So why not join me here on West Country Wanderings for another Cotswold Walks. I'm in this delightful little orchard at the moment. We've got the centre of the village just over there. They've got a coffee shop in there as well as a pub. I'll drop in the name of the pub. Looks like that's still going, which is great because there's been so many pubs closing of late, of course. Before I go over towards Oberyn and start the ascent to the top of Breeden Hill, we're going to make our way over to the church. I do apologise, it is quite a windy day today. There is a storm going across the top half of the United Kingdom, crossing over Northern Ireland, Scotland, Northern England. We're missing the worst of that, but it is going to be quite breezy, so apologise for wind noise on the microphone. I'll try and lessen to it as much as I can, but there will be some inevitably. Anyway, we're going to continue our walk today. I'll insert maps as we go making our way, first of all, towards Camerton's church. So this is St Nicholas Church here in Kemerton. There's also a Catholic church here too, not sure where that is. I think it's more of a, a chapel if I come across that. I'll find a shot of it, I'll insert that too. Beautiful churchyard, I just got a shot of some snowdrops here, nice and peaceful, apart from somebody doing some DIY over on the other side of that big house there. We're gonna make our way out of the churchyard now, down towards the lakes and have a look at that before we make our way over to the village of Overbury. So this is a really beautiful spot here near a place called Upper Court. It's got two lakes. In fact, there's a third Kemerton Lake, which is a huge lake, which is now a nature reserve. May not have time to visit that today because it's a bit further south of the village and it's not on our circuit. But this here, just absolutely stunning place just to start our walk before we head across towards Breeden Hill. Lovely, peaceful and tranquil. Lots of bird life too. Great. Now at this point here, the footpath split. There's one that bears right, make its way out of the woodland, but there's another one that goes across this little footbridge across this stream here. And that's the one where we need to go on to make our way towards the village of Overbury.
I don't know if you can make that out there, just to the right of the white house, the white building. I believe that is the Catholic Church, you can just make out the little arch for where the bells ring. There's a name for that, Belfry, that's the one, <laughs> just there to the right. So we're now approaching Overbury, that's Overbury Church and to the left of that, slightly hidden by the tree on the left of your screens there, that is Overbury House which uh, sits in Overbury Park which extends to the right of that. There isn't a right of way through that park so we're kind of edging up a coombe to make our way to the top of Breeden Hill. Just stopped at Overbury Church, just in this beautiful churchyard. Just had a sandwich and some water. I'm just going to film some of these snowdrops and the lovely irises that are in this churchyard here. Really beautiful place. Again, apologies for the wind noise, it's very, very gusty. I am a bit concerned about what it's going to be like when we get to the top of Breeden Hill. So, after here, there is a little bit of road walking. I won't film that bit where I'm on the road, obviously, because it's noisy. It's not very long and then we'll be in the coombe making our way up the contours towards the top of Breeden Hill. I think it's called the Ridge or something like that. I'll insert the map now. So then we'll make our way along that ridge, see what we've got views on that. It's a very clear day so we should be okay. Maybe I'll put the telephoto lens on and I'll then be descending back to uh, Kemerton and show you a bit more of that village in Kemerton too. I hope you're enjoying the tour here today on West Country Wanderings. So I'm still in Overbury at the moment. This is the main road that winds its way out of it. Very classic Cotswolds with the Cotswold stone walls here. Beautiful village, it's a very wealthy village. I'll tell you more about that in a bit as we head out of it. We're gonna make our way towards the end of the street here. Then we're gonna head off onto a public footpath along the coombe to take us to the ridge to the top of Breeden Hill.
So I'm now on the Ovebury estate, so there is a right of way through there. In fact, there's two paths that go up. So we now on our ascent, we'll make our way up this track here. Beautiful here. So we've got views down into the village proper. A lot of the cottages are tenanted out. But this huge property here is uh, up for let. Probably a vast sum of money each month for, for rent in some of these properties. Yeah, as I was saying, this village became wealthy, I think, in the 19th century with the Martin family who were merchant bankers and it's kind of held on to its wealth ever since. So I'm having to hold on to both my hat and the tripod because it is very, very gusty today. Well, this spot here underneath this fantastic, I think it's an oak tree, right by this beautiful little lake. It's a, like a tarn you would find on the English Lake District. Of course, we're not in the Lake District, we're here in the Cotswolds. This is a, a sheltered spot from the wind too, so it's most welcome to be out of that wind. We're about two thirds of the way up our climb up Breeden Hill, making our way to the top bit. And I think it's called the Belt, not the Ridge. I got it wrong earlier on, I think I said the Ridge. It's called the Belt, only a narrow strip. That's where we'll, we'll see all the fantastic views down both sides of Breeden Hill, down into the Cotswolds. So we're going to continue our walk all the way to the very top. But yeah, I'm loving it here today. Wonderful, it's actually warm. It's about 16 degrees now, which is the warmest day we've had of the year so far too. Just shame about that wind a bit, but when you can find nice sheltered spots like this one, it's fantastic. Well, I've made it to the summit. Apologise for the wind noise and for the shaky camera work because although I've put my rucksack, when well, I put some rocks inside the rucksack, suspended that underneath, it's still going to shake a bit because it is really, really gusty today. In fact, my hat, trusty hat, just came flying off too. So I'm going to have to tie that down as well. This is called the belt that's behind me. So I'll put in now, I don't know the exact metres, I'll put in the altitude that we're at now. We've just come up through some lovely woodland. So we're going to make our way following the belt and then we'll be turning left following Coombe back down to the village of Kemerton. But yeah, it's just lovely up here. Typical Cotswold countryside in the sense you've come up through the Vale, through a wooded section, and now you've come to a flat plateau, which is obviously suitable for sheep grazing, which you've got here. Just saw a sign there. The farms around here are linked to the Overbury Estate, and they also tie into the leaf. And I forgot what that stands for. I'll put it in below, which means they use ecological practices and they're saying about for every spadeful that they dig up they're expecting to see 16 worms because worms of course aerate the soil as always a good sign that the quality of the soil is good but yes yeah, good agricultural land up here but obviously the soil is thinner here than what it was back down in the two villages that we saw earlier in the video i'm going to continue along here here on west country wanderings So I've got into vlogging now, now just swap the cameras over and lenses, etc. Just to say it's very, very gusty up here. Very, very gusty. It's on the highest point now, so it's downhill. So I apologize for the sound. 
probably having to shout downhill all the way down to back to the village of Kempton but it's still a beautiful bright blue sunny day here but just a bit windy <laughs> So just in that little copse over there, it was a former quarry. And what was it quarrying? Well, we're here in the, uh, the Cotswolds, of course, and uh, it was quarrying, if you can see that, uh, good old uh, Oolitic limestone, which of course, that's what the Cotswold is famous for. And that's what gives all the villages hereabouts their characteristic hue. Uh, it's just a bit too windy to put my tripod up with the telephoto lens, I'm afraid. But in the distance there, that is the Seven Plains down towards the um, large warehouses around Ash Church, just outside Tewkesbury. To the south of that, you've got uh, Dumbleton Hill, which is between Gloucester and Cheltenham, and Church Down Hill. And then you can see a crest of hills in the distance. And that's still the Cotswold Hills, because the one I'm standing at the moment, I've mentioned this before, Breeden Hill, is an outlier from the main Cotswold Hill escarpment, but it's still in the Cotswolds. And in the distance over there, above the crest of the green of the field, is one of the most famous set of hills, not the only set of hills in Worcestershire, uh, just immediately to the west of here, and that of course is the Mulvans, as well as the uh, Mulvern Hills in Worcestershire. You also have the Clent Hills, which lie just south of Birmingham, about uh, 25 miles, 30 miles, something like that, just north of here. And that's somewhere where I will visit on a future episode here on West Country Wanderings. That also lies with the National Trust. And over in that direction, you can see the Welsh hills far in the distance. Now this stone here I think it's an old boundary stone. Just see that there. It looks like it's been bolted together there, just to hold the two together. Because if you come around this side, so there's a bank here, you'll see there's a split right down the middle. So they've had to bolt it together to ensure it doesn't fall over. Goodness knows how old this stone is here. Boundary marker, I'm not sure, perhaps it was an old county boundary marker between Gloucestershire and Worcestershire, though I'm still in Worcestershire, even the other side of this. Both Overbury and where we started our journey today, they were originally in Gloucestershire and they, well, like I've said before, the borders between Gloucestershire and Worcestershire and Herefordshire, they've changed over the centuries and moved, goodness knows, many times. So perhaps that was an older county border post, who knows? So just been coming down the slopes of Breeden Hill here and again apologise for the shaky camera and the high wind noise. It's very, very gusty and even though we're on the lower slopes of Breeden now, we're just coming up to Kemerton now, entering a road and a narrow track. Come across this building here. Looks like it's an old barn. And in fact, where I'm standing at the moment looks like the foundations of quite substantial farm buildings here. So I'll just show you around the site.
Well, I've just had a look around the village of Kemerton, made my way back into the village, and I've discovered this beautiful spot here, which actually isn't marked on the OS map at all. Just working my way around the area by the lakes and the churchyard, which is a delightful spot if you ever come here into Kemerton. Before I did that, I actually dropped off my rucksack in my car and made my way to the coffee shop, grabbed myself a takeaway coffee, had a wander around the village, taken some photographs, I'll include a shot now, of the old sign for the Landau hires, and also the coffee shop and the pub as well, as well as that magnificent Worcestershire County Council sign at the start of the village too, really loved all of that. So I've now come in here, this is the John Moore Nature Reserve, and it was given to the public, or the people in this area, by his wife Lucille in 1980. John Moore was a conservationist and a nature writer. I wasn't even aware that he was from this part of Worcestershire, so that's really, really interesting. And in 2011 this was taken over by the Kemerton Conservation Trust. And they manage this beautiful wood and there's lots of nest boxes around here. They've also put the logs where trees have fallen into piles for the larvae and bees and all the insects to nest, all that kind of thing. So it's really, really good stuff. And of course, you're surrounded by these lakes on both sides as well, just to the side of the churchyard here in the lovely village of Kemerton in the Cotswolds. So that's it for today. That's today's walk. I came back on a slightly different route than I originally planned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto my OS Maps app. I'll amend the map and I'll publish it as the route that I actually did today. And I'll make that live. So when this video goes live, I'll put a link into that like I've done with the other Cotswold walks that I've done. So you'll be able to click on that link. So if you're coming to the Cotswolds on holiday or if you live in Gloucestershire, Worcestershire, Herefordshire kind of areas, then you'll be able to do this walk for yourselves. And it's magnificent. I really, really enjoyed it. It's one I made up myself. It's not from a book today. I love looking at maps and I just thought when I saw the lakes and I thought, saw these two places in this part of the Cotswolds, which doesn't get many visitors actually, which is great. <laughs> it's great. So if you want a really nice quiet Cotswold walk, I can highly recommend it. The only problem I had today was it was very windy on the top of Breeden Hill. So I wasn't able to film on the top of there or photograph as much as I would like because I couldn't even hold the camera study, but it's like nice and quiet now to close the video off. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to know what you think. Please drop a comment below. Also share the video if you think somebody else may enjoy watching it. Until next time, West Country Wanderings, take care of yourselves, look after yourselves, and I hope to see you on the channel again very, very soon. All the best for now. Bye-bye.